Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. What I wanna do is talk about AI upscaling inside of Photoshop Beta. This is the generative upscale. Now the reason why I've actually shown a little bit of interest in this field was because of Gemini 2.5's results. So the other day I released a video in which I showed you how we changed this little boy's jumper from green over to the brown range using text prompts only. And the results were phenomenal. The only downside to it was the resolution. So if you wanna go and look at that video, I've linked it above, go and check it out. It's amazing what you can do with Gemini 2.5, but the resulting resolution is the downside. So let's have a look at that. Right now, from the generator, we had 1248 pixels, which for us portrait photographers is way too low. We can't make use of that kind of resolution. So the moment I heard about the generative upscale inside of Photoshop, I thought, well, this is the time to test it. So let's go and do just that. We are gonna go over to image and we're gonna go straight down to generative upscale. And we've got a couple of options here, which is two by, three by, and four by. I hit the first limitation when I clicked four by. It says output too large in beta. So they're obviously going to work with that. The width or height exceeds 4096 pixels. So let's just simply choose a lower scale, three by, and click upscale. So it's going to create a new document and let's wait for the results to poll and see what Photoshop beta is giving us in terms of scaling up our images. Now I did mention another product in that video and it was the Topaz Gigapixel AI. So that's what we're going to do next. We're gonna compare it to that. Right off the bat, I feel like it's done something weird to my subjects. It's made them look like cartoon characters at this stage. I'm not sure why that is, but there isn't any other options that we can choose. This is just talking about the output that we got from this simple image and it's not looking great. It's over smoothed everything and there's a complete lack of sharpness in this image as well. So that is another problem. But the biggest problem I'm seeing here is this massive color shift from my original image. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's bug, I don't know, but it's just not great at this stage. So whilst we've added on a bunch of pixels, it's really not done us any favor in terms of clarity and detail. You can see that it's basically like a zoomed up version of our image, and that is not the kind of results that we would expect. I mean, look at that, that color shift is huge. There's even detailed changes in the image that don't look great either. So let's go and have a look at the Topaz upscaler. So this is Topaz Gigapixel AI, and I'm going to choose exactly the same image and pop it into the upscaler, and you can see how fast it upscaled it. So I've set it to three times, so we've got a fair comparison, and when we zoom into our subjects, we can see that the clarity is far better, but it's not excellent. It's still not a result that I would deliver to my clients. Even though we used the Gemini 2.5 model to do that text-based editing, unfortunately, the result that we're getting from there is just too low resolution, even for upscalers of this technology. Let's go and test high quality. Maybe we get a better result, and maybe if we turn off the suppressed noise and remove blur options, maybe it will give us a better result. And you can see that the process updated very quickly and it actually does look far better and way more realistic. But when we generated those results on his jumper here, it's still a little bit funky and it's still not something that I would deliver. I'm sure the technology is going to be improved in terms of Photoshop and I'm sure that Gemini 2.5 is going to surely give us higher resolution results. But here we go. This is the comparison, and we can clearly see that the winner in this case is definitely Topaz Gigapixel AI. It's really done a marvelous job. It's still not quite usable to my standards, but it's doing a much better job than that which we see here inside of the better version of Photoshop. So. I'm hoping that we see improvements to this model too, but right now I think this is not quite usable, at least not uh, for our purpose as portrait photographers, but you know, future will tell where we're gonna go. So friends, thank you so much for your amazing support, 
and we'll see you in the next session. Cheers for now.